Hi there, welcome to Good Sith Keeping. Today I'm going to unbox the October subscription box for Maniology. After we take a look at what's inside the box, I will go ahead and do some samples for you and test out the product and we'll see how these plates and nail polish work. And just like with the September box, it looks like they send you a card with an idea for how you can use the product and some instructions here. Looks like this one is a matte design with the shiny stamping over it using the same color polish. And this card just has an explanation of the items that are included in this month's box. Now let's take a look at the two colors that are included in the October box. I love seeing the color decisions that they make, especially for each month's theme. And it looks like this month we have a really pretty mossy green color called Crisp and a pretty gold metallic color called Cozy. These two colors are really pretty together and really pretty individually, but I think they're also going to look really nice with some other colors that I have that would really go well with that fall theme. This month's mystery gift is this pineapple lotion. And I think lotion is really up to individual preference, but I can tell you this one smells very strongly of pineapple and it feels pretty nice. The fall theme is carrying over into the stamping plates. This first one has some sweater elements and Thanksgiving elements, nice and cozy and warm feeling. I can think of a couple ways I'd like to use that. And the second plate has more of a print to it. Um, it'll be interesting to see how we can use those. The rest of the video will be me testing out the product. I'm going to use different colors and test out both the plates as well as both of the colors that came in the box on different bases and see how it works. I have to tell you, Houndstooth is one of my favorite prints and so I was super excited to use that. And I thought this gold color would just be really lovely on both the black and the white. Unfortunately, you can kind of tell this first transfer didn't go very well. Um, I didn't pick it up very well to begin with, and then when I applied it to the black, it also didn't transfer very well onto the black. I'm going to go ahead and keep track of all of my stamp fails because this video, I had quite a few of them. So while this one is pretty, it does look like a snake skin. It's not exactly the houndstooth print we were looking for. You can already see the difference in how well the print transferred onto the stamper versus the last one. And this does look a lot better. Now the gold is a bit hard to see over the white, but I still think it's really, really pretty. I'm calling that one a success. Now let's test out this green color over a white and a black background. I'm not too hopeful about the black background because this is really a dark green color, but I do think it'll look really nice over the white. The little tea kettle picked up perfectly on the stamper, so let's see how it transfers. And it looks like I messed up on this one. So it's a little jogged right there in the middle, and I think that was me moving when I tried to transfer it. That's definitely not the product's fault. Now let's take a look at how it looks over the black. That's a really good pickup. And now I'm taking my sweet time and lining this up. I don't know why, but there's the transfer. And it is really hard to see. Um, so I'm not sure that this is a great use of that color, but you can definitely see over the white and it is a really pretty green. Stamping polishes are designed to work really well on stamping plates, but you can also use them as normal polishes. So I just wanted to experiment with using them with an ombre technique. I really love the effect that you can get by putting two polishes on a sponge and then sort of rolling them and dabbing them onto the nail. I wasn't really sure where I was going with this, and so I just did a couple of the nails in the same way using the same technique and then I set them aside and decided what to do with them later. I 
I was really excited to try this cozy gold color over this burgundy red wine color that I already had. And so I had already pre-painted these samples and let them dry before testing out the stamping. The stamp of this little slice of pie seems to have gone on really well. The polish picked up nicely and transferred and you can pretty much see what it is. But of course, I can't leave things well enough alone, so I wanted to also try the green color over this red base. I'm trying out the scarf that's sort of in the middle of this plate here, and we'll see how it looks over the pie shape, kind of at an angle above it. I really should have known that the green wasn't going to look very good over that red. It's so hard to see. I'm not going to call it a fail though because it did pick up nicely and it transferred well. So that was more just an issue with color choices. The trouble is I really wanted to see the scarf in action. And so I wanted to try it again, but this time I wanted to see if I could add some white behind the stamp. That way maybe it would pop a little bit more when I transferred it. I'll also admit that this is my first time ever trying this particular technique. I've seen it in videos before and I suspect that maybe I did this a little too heavy handed because as you'll see it didn't really work. When you look at it through the stamper it looks like it's going to work. And then, it just doesn't. I'm not really sure if maybe the white was just too heavy or too wet, but I'm not gonna keep trying it for this video, maybe again in the future. For this next one, I'm going to use the white again, and I'm going to try it with one of these little word phrases. This one says, books and coffee. And as you can see, this one just didn't even pick up very well at all. So I had to clean off everything and try again. At this point, it's a little tough to tell if it's my technique or if it's the plate or what is happening and why I'm having so many of these fails. But this one didn't even pick up very well either, even after cleaning it. So it's a bit disappointing and you can tell that when you transfer it over, it just doesn't look very clean and I'll show a closer picture of it later. By this time, I was pretty frustrated with all of the stamp fails, so I decided to switch plates and try one of these prints on a different base. You can see how nicely this one picked up. It is a really clean pickup, and I'm hoping that the transfer will be just as nice. I really needed a win on this one. And it went on perfectly. You really couldn't ask for a better transfer, and I love that the color on the base just peeks through just a tiny bit. At the risk of ruining what is a nearly perfect stamp, I wanted to add a couple of accents using the colors that came with the subscription box. So here I'm going to use the green, and the little decal is a, it's like a little bunny in maybe a nest of leaves. It's really hard to see in this video, but it's pretty cute and it actually went on very nicely. Why not leave well enough alone and move on to my next sample? But no, I'm going to keep adding to this one. But this time I'm going to use the gold color with the little, I think it's a moth or maybe it's a butterfly and add that to the same nail. I think I mostly just wanted to try mixing and matching and see what techniques were successful and which colors looked good with each other. This one turned out pretty nice. I'm not sure that it's something I would do on my own nails, but it's cute in its own right. I never wear this lime green color. I'm not even sure why I have it, but I thought maybe it would look really cute with a sweater print and this green color actually works really well with it, I think. You'll see that it actually does have a very nice fall sweater vibe going on and the pickup and the transfer worked perfectly. So this was another win. 
but I didn't really want just a boring sweater. So I thought it would be fun to add some ugly sweater elements to it. So I tried the gold with that little mug of hot cocoa and it didn't work. So I had to clean everything off again and start over. Surely this has to work eventually, right? Apparently not. So I gave up on the mug of hot cocoa and moved on to this little book. I know these are hard to see in the video, but I tried to get close-ups where I could. I was so hopeful that trying a different stamp would work and it's terribly disappointing that this gold just doesn't work. And so I switched over to the white and was able to get a really good transfer of the book. I was so relieved to finally have a good pickup that I just jumped right on putting it on the nail and it actually worked and it was such a relief. I'm not sure how good the white looks over the green, but I didn't care at that point. I had something that was finally working, so I ran with it. So why not try to add more? Using the same white, I tried to use this little phrase that says, read more, which I thought would look really cute with the book. What is going on here? It didn't even pick up the word read. So I moved on. I picked out this little tea kettle. I thought maybe that might look nice with the book. I didn't even care anymore. I was just trying to get this done. But to my relief, the tea kettle with the white actually worked really well and it transferred onto the nail really well. So the white seems to work the best with these plates so far. But wait, there's more. Now I'm going to try just putting the green over that ombre nail that I made earlier. I thought maybe with the green that was there being a little faint and a little matte that maybe doing the stamp over that would be subtle but still noticeable. And it really didn't transfer well at all. You can see where I tried to even get like that little bit that was remaining off onto the nail and it just wasn't working. I swear I have not had this much trouble with stamping since I first started. Maybe I was just having an off day. I don't know. So I tried the same technique with a different print. You can see it picked up very nicely and when I went to transfer it onto the nail I had pretty much the same trouble. Um, it's not as bad, but you can definitely see that it didn't transfer all the way. At the end of the video, I will show you still shots of all of these, and this one actually doesn't look as bad when you see the still. This is my final experiment of the video. I'm trying the gold again, but this time I'm doing it with that leafy print. I think I was just hoping that since the gold worked with the houndstooth on the white nail, that maybe it would work for this one. But as you can see, it didn't pick up onto the stamper very well. And then when I tried to transfer it onto the nail, it was a dud. However, I actually really like this, so I'm only going to call it a half fail. By now, we've gotten this far. So I figured I'd try out one more thing. I had this red in my collection and decided I would add just a little bit of red to the design, see what it looks like when it transferred over. The red and the green and the gold seemed like they'd be really nice fall theme and why not? That's one of the reasons why I really love these nail sticks is I can just try anything and not feel like I've wasted product on my own nails when I'm just going to remove it later. It's hard to see, but this is like a little mushroom design. And when I transferred it onto the nail, it came over perfectly. Um, it, there was a little leftover on the side from apparently one of the other prints on the stamper. And I think it looks really cool. It's kind of a trash polka style if you're into that sort of tattoo art. So I really liked this nail in the end. 
And finally, let's look at the close-up views of all of the examples that I did in this video. Not all of them are winners, but I think some of them are really pretty and there are some cute designs that I would maybe use in the future. I definitely had some setbacks and I don't know if that was the product or user error in this case, but it's certainly a company that I support and while this is not a sponsored video, I would say that I like to test out their products and I will probably do the November box as well. Thank you for watching and have a great day.